Yeah, so anyone that's done any air gun for any length of time will know that the uh, one of the main problems with an air rifle is the um, very pronounced trajectory. Even a 177 has a fairly pronounced trajectory. Um, two two is even worse, and if you're shooting two five, then uh, that can be a big ask in a sub twelve foot pound air rifle. So obviously, knowing your uh, range to the target is of paramount importance, really. Um, now that's not such a problem if you've been shooting the same bit of land repeatedly for years, because you get to know different landmarks and where stuff's going to appear, and. Uh, you know, you can get an intuitive feel for how far away stuff is um, and what your aim off points are going to be. But if you're on fresh land or really open land that's a bit devoid of um, reference points or you're on land that you maybe not shot very much, it can be very difficult to gauge exactly how far your target is. Um, and for that reason, most air gun hunters use some form of rangefinder. So what I've got here today is the uh, the MTC uh, rangefinder. It's the Rapier Ballistic, and uh, uh, this is a rangefinder with a bit of a sting in the tail, really. So I'll have a quick look at the rangefinder first itself, and then talk about the uh, the added bonus, if you like, of this uh, particular system. So it comes in a really nice little case, uh, really sort of reinforced little case um, good quality zips on it and everything and when you open it up if you've got it on your belt a lot of these cases sometimes you put it on your belt undo the zip and the case will fall open and whatever's in it will fall out this has got two little straps on either side elasticated straps so even when you've undone the zip your range finder won't just fall out onto the floor which is a nice little tip a uh, nice little thing that's been fit to it. You can tell that someone's actually used one of these in the field. Um, so that's, that's first off, that bodes well. Someone's obviously thought of even a small detail like that. And then you come to the actual rangefinder, fairly standard in its layout. Uh, really, really small, very compact little thing in the hand. Uh, made from uh, some sort of reinforced polycarbonate, I think, with a sort of rubberized uh, exterior finish to it. Very nicely done, very nicely put together. Nice little MTC branding on the side, and it's only got two buttons, so it's relatively straightforward to use. Uh, nothing overly complex. Um, it's got a menu button that you scroll through, and then a straightforward on. Um, and scanning button. Uh, adjustable diopter, rubber cup again, um, really nice, um, and six times magnification. Um, you can choose various types of retina um, and you can choose to read out in uh, usual imperial measurements, meters, uh, uh, imperial or metric, so like yards and feet or um, meters so so far so pretty much standard really for uh, a rangefinder battery compartment there you don't need any tools to get into it a little thing flips down and there's a little lever there that you hold and twist to unscrew it pop the battery in so it's pretty much so far pretty much straightforward everything as per you would expect also comes with a little wrist strap um, and in the box, you've also got a little carabiner for um, fixing the, if you don't want to put it on your loops, you want to put it on your uh, backpack or bag or something else, one of those as well to attach it to. So everything's pretty much covered. Now, where this differs from probably all other rangefinders, or most of them anyway, is the fact that this also uh, has the capability of Bluetooth into the MTC app, which is free to download and you can get it for iOS um, or uh, Android, sort of work on iPhones and uh, Android devices, Samsungs, that sort of thing. Um, and basically what you do, download the app, uh, it connects to this with Bluetooth, and then on the app you fill in a few details, um, your pellet weight, caliber, 
muzzle velocity and how high your scope is off the sensor line of the rifle, easy enough to measure, uh, and your zero range. And then, when you use the range finding facility on the little range finder here, it contacts or interlinks with the app, and the app will tell you how much hold over or hold under to apply at that given range. And you can set that to read out in uh, inches, centimetres, uh, mils or mil rads. So if you're using a, a first focal plane scope um, that's in uh, mil rads, then you can get it to, to read out in mil rads. And there you go. It, obviously, if you're using a second focal plane scope, that's not so handy because the mil rads are only right on that at certain magnification ranges. But to overcome that, you can get it to read it out just inches or, uh, or centimetres, so it'll tell you to hold over by 2 centimetres or 1.5 centimetres, or if you're in inches, it'll tell you to hold over an inch or an inch and a half, whatever. So it's got all bases covered, really, um, as regards that. Um, so really, it's dead handy, because not only... because. If like me, it's all right if you're only using one rifle. If you're constantly using one rifle and you've got a first focal plane scope on it, you will probably know, once you know what the range is, you'll know how much hold over or hold under you need to apply. Um, if like me, you're using different types of optics, so one day I might be out with the scope on the rifle, next day I might be out with a night sight on the rifle um, that I'm using as a day so scope because I want to do some filming. Um, and I might have, I've got several different varieties of scopes that I might have on, on each rifle, different rifles, different calibers. So it's hard to remember the hold over and hold unders all the time for all those different sighting systems and all those rifles. This makes life so much easier because you just put in those few details at the beginning of the hunt and then off you go. And once it gives you the range, you press the range finding and it'll tell you now you can connect the app as well connects to a little earpiece so you put that in your ear and it feeds the information in so it'll tell you how far away it is so it'll go like 43 yards and then it'll say aim up uh, one inch or 2.5 centimeters or whatever depending on the settings um, or you can dispense with that and just have your phone just telling you um, where to aim really really clever uh, it also does windage um, so what you do you set it and it will uh, read off you, the um, the weather forecast for wherever you are so you put your postcode here uh, and it will read off where or geo position it will read off what the weather forecast is now that's handy if you live somewhere where it's very very flat and open because if there's a northwest of the wind blowing and there's going to be a northwest of the wind blowing. If you live where I do, where it's a lot more hilly and mountainous and a bit more rugged, then anyone who shoots in those conditions will know that the wind, even though it might say on the weather forecast it's going to be northwesterlies, they get caught in hills, swirled around, um, caught in mountain valleys and things, and it can come at you from any direction. So the windage is a little bit more um, hit and miss. But the elevation, and I've had a quick play with this, and I will be doing another video once the uh, gale force winds die down a bit, um, to show how accurate this is at gauging the, uh, the correct hold over and hold under at different ranges, and it's very, very good. Very good. Um, now, you know, there are sites that do that. Uh, the ATN um, night site, you can get a fixture that puts on the front of that. And that will do the same thing. But the only trouble is, it's very expensive because um, you have to only it only works with the ATNX site. Um, so you have to buy that site for starters, which is around about a grandish mark, and it's an extra three hundred quid I think for the the little bit that fits on the front, and it only works with that site. So, but this will work with anything, anything at all. You just put your few details in the front in the uh, in the app. It takes seconds, four or five little details. Um, muzzle velocity, height your scope, uh, and your um, zero in range, and this will work with anything. So it's a really, really adaptable, quick to use, and fairly straightforward system, really. 
Um, the optics are very good. It's got really nice uh, crystal clear optics on it. Um, and all in all, can't really fault it because, it, like I say, it comes with absolutely everything you need. There's a little little charger cable to charge up the ear, uh, little Bluetooth earpiece, you know, the little box. And this is a proper little rugged bit of kit, and it's only little, it's a tiny little thing. So even if you don't decide to use it as a, um, to use the ballistic capabilities as a rangefinder, it's a fantastic little thing. But that ballistic capability is really, really good, and it's very accurate. It surprised me. Um, plenty accurate enough for hunting. You know, and it will pick up at any range, you know, wherever you plonk it, and it will tell you how much to aim above, how much to aim below. So yeah, really, really impressive little bit of kit. Very clever, very, very clever little bit of kit. Um, and it's tough, it's rugged. Um, and I really like this. I really like this. In the past, I've had other uh, laser range finders and find them really useful tools. Um, but I particularly like the fact that this has got that little bit extra in the fact that it will um, work out your ballistic calculation for you and tell you. Some might call it cheating, but to me, when I'm out hunting, I'm after a clean headshot and any advantage I can get to um, let me get a clean headshot, be that shooting off a really good quality bipod, good quality tripod, uh, or using something like this, frankly, I'll take it. Um, you know, it, it, I think these are it, a rangefinder is a must for a hunter, and this little ballistic rangefinder just takes it that little step further. It just takes it a bit further. You don't need now to have your little sniper's notepad um, with all your aim over points and aim under points written down um, for each scope. Um, you can do it straight away with this, with just a few few seconds loading up the little app. With the information so yeah great little thing dead useful really useful little bit of kit especially for hunting um, and it's very accurate and i will be doing a video where i go out um, and i will just be putting targets down at different ranges willy-nilly um, and showing how good uh, this thing can predict your um, ballistic hold over or hold under it's quite a little bit of kit Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.